Hey guys, what's up? Eli here. In this video, we're going to talk about how long does a profitable campaign actually last? So what we're going to cover inside of this training is how long does a profitable campaign last and what you should do to ensure that a dying campaign doesn't mean a dying business. How long does a profitable campaign last? So you first need to realize that profitable campaigns do not last forever. The sooner you can come to terms with this, really accept it, the sooner you will become better at e-commerce, better at marketing in general. Nothing lasts forever. And when it comes to your campaigns, that is definitely true. So I'm answering this question because it's a question that I've actually been getting a little bit lately. Somebody who I've been talking to, they said they've actually done over $100,000 inside of their e-commerce store just recently, but their campaigns are in a bit of a downtrend, you know, so that's why I wanted to cover this, okay? Because it is a problem, you're going to face this at some point, okay? Some point you're gonna have a profitable campaign, you are going to see it eventually start to downtrend, start to, you know, the results will slowly and slowly become less and less profitable, maybe to a point where your campaigns are no longer profitable. So you're gonna run into this at some point, let's tackle it now, get you in the right mindset. So when this happens, it's kind of expected, okay? It's not a big shock to the system, which I see happen with a lot of people. They might get a lot of a winning product, they might be super excited, and then when that one product starts to die out on them, they're left with nothing, and you know, it's a big problem for them because they're shocked, they're rattled, they feel like it's over for them, the ride has finished. That's why I wanna tackle this video, because the truth is, products come, products go, good marketing stays forever, okay? So let's keep that in mind. So in e-commerce, products have a life cycle. If you find a winning product, over time, your profits and your campaigns will decrease. Overall, the harsh truth is that profitable campaigns just don't last very long. They usually only last one, two months, three months, okay? So the sooner you can come to terms with this, accept it, that campaigns, profitable campaigns, usually only last between one and three months. Sure, some people maybe can get six months out of a profitable campaign, maybe longer. The reality is most campaigns will last between maybe one and three months. This is largely due to product market fatigue because what happens is when you start getting a lot of results, when you kind of like crack the code, you found a product, uh, a product market fit that works really well, other people are going to notice, other marketers, other really savvy marketers who are doing product research and have their finger on the pulse, they're going to see what you're doing and they're going to start doing it as well. If they start putting a lot of budget behind it, your results are going to decrease. It might not decrease to start with, but when a lot of marketers start doing exactly what you're doing, your profits and your campaigns are slowly going to decrease. So what should you do? So if you find a winning product and have consistent profitable sales, you want and you must take advantage of this as much as possible, okay? If you've got something working, you need to take advantage of it because you need to realize that campaigns are only gonna stick around for a relatively short amount of time. So you gotta squeeze that sucker as hard as you can to try and get everything out of it while it's working. So you can do this by scaling as fast as possible. Now I know in some other videos I've shied away from saying scale fast, but if you have cash flow, fulfillment and customer service in place, then scale hard and scale fast, okay? But you have to be mindful of cash flow, fulfillment and customer service when you scale, okay? Because that portion of your business is gonna increase exponentially. The problems, customer service problems, fulfillment issues and cash flow, PayPal holds, etc. That's all gonna happen once you start scaling. But I still recommend scaling if you can, as hard as fast as you can, because your profitable campaigns are only gonna stick around for one to three months. Now, how to make sure a dying product does not mean a dying business. This is what happens to a lot of people. A lot of people, they, they're into one product drop shipping, right? Or they t they're, only, they're only focusing on one product. The truth is, if you're trying to make e-commerce as a business, you need to constantly be testing new products, okay? 
Once you have something working, don't be lazy. You could be making $1,000 per day profit. You could be making $5,000, $10,000 a day profit. That doesn't mean that you are off the hook. That doesn't mean that you're allowed to just go watch Netflix, go chill out, okay? You have to keep pressing, keep pushing, because understand that your product that you're doing, you're running at the moment, even though it's profitable, it's going to die out very soon, right? One to three months, okay? It's quite a short amount of time. So what you don't want to have happen is if you only have one product and then that product dies. So if all of your income is from one product, from one source, if that source goes away, you have zero income. It's a very dangerous position to be in. You need to make sure you're constantly testing. So you might have one product that's really doing well, but at that same time, you might have a few other products that are you know, starting to get some traction. You might not scale them straight away because all of your attention is focused on this one main product, but you have the option to scale them. You've got diversity in your income. You're not putting all of your eggs in one basket. Just get out of that mindset of, oh, if I find a product, it's doing well, that's it. All my attention is focused on this product. Focus a good portion of your intro, of your of your focus and attention on a product if it is doing well. But make sure there is a percentage of your focus and attention that is also focused on bringing up new products into your pipeline, into your testing pipeline, to make sure you're never in a position where all of your eggs are in one basket. Okay, you need to still remain very savvy. You are not allowed to just Go watch, go watch a movie, go watch Netflix. Okay, just think, oh, I'm making money. It's a really easy trap to fall into, especially if it's your first time, thinking, oh, I've made it. You know what, I've made it. I might just go lie on the beach somewhere. Doesn't work like that, okay? This is a real business. You need to constantly have your finger on the pulse. You need to constantly be paying attention to what is working in the market right now, okay? When it comes to online marketing, online business, things change all the time, okay? So you must keep that finger on the pulse. Do not get lazy. Do not allow yourself to get lazy. This is my warning to you. So in summary, your profitable campaign will only work usually for about one to three months due to competition and market saturation you must continue to test new products, okay? Just having one product that is working is putting all of your eggs into one basket and that once that product dies, which it will, if you don't have any other products that you're testing, that you're bringing up, then you are gonna have very soon no income coming in. So don't get complacent, don't get lazy. You don't want this to happen, like I said keep testing new products. So moving forward, make sure you come and join the e-commerce revolution. Check out the quick start pack. The link is in the description below. Really designed to help you get success faster within your business and help you save a ton of time, energy, and money. The link is in the description. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, uh, then make sure you come and schedule a call with me, okay? I don't buy it. I'd love to have a chat with you about your business. Maybe we could work together to make, to make your business, make it move further faster, okay? So the link for that is in the description as well. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.